In 2018, our city will commemorate its founding 300 years ago. In celebration, WYS presents this tricentennial moment. One of the most popular attractions at the 1984 World's Fair was the Vatican Pavilion, which featured 2,000 years of religious art and priceless treasures from around the world. About a million people toured the pavilion with its signature 110-foot-high lighted dome designed after St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. Inside the building, an impressive cross-section of religious art was displayed, from tomb plaques and sculpture to tapestries and paintings, including masterpieces by El Greco and Raphael. But the focus of the exhibition was the deposition from the cross by Caravaggio. Considered by some to be the crown jewel of the entire fair, the insurance value of that single painting alone was almost $15 million. The Shroud of Turin, reputed to be the burial garment of Jesus, was on the list of objects earmarked for loan for the fair. But out of fear that the Italian government might seize the shroud if it left Turin, plans fell through, and a photo exhibit of the shroud was displayed outside the pavilion instead. Pope John Paul II was invited to the opening of the Vatican Pavilion, but had to decline, promising to visit New Orleans in the future a promise he kept when he came for that famous visit in 1987. The Vatican Pavilion, a place of reflection and faith within the spectacle of the 1984 New Orleans World's Fair. WYS's New Orleans Tricentennial Moments are brought to you by the Miro Foundation and presented in association with the historic New Orleans Collection.